good morning, Lisa Marie here, and forgive me for not being able to show you my whole day's worth of um, what I've planned for my meal prepping, but I'm in the middle of a crazy adventure. I'm actually changing my cupboards and emptying things out that were over here and switching them over here and vice versa because I want it easier to access and be um, better for me and my meal prepping. But I wanted to share with you, have you heard about these um, overnight um, oats, the overnight jar oats? Oh my word, they are incredible if your tummy will allow you to have the oats. I am now 11 months, what? I'm 11 months out. And just last month, at month 10, I was actually able to start eating actual oatmeal. I've, act, I've had to have um, malt oatmeal instead um, before it. So everybody's tummy's different. At a different time and place, you'll be able to have it. Or maybe not. Mm, sorry. However, I want to share with you what I did with this amazing um, jar. And I forgot to get one of these little ones. So I went to the store and bought two sizes. I bought the little half a cup size because that's my portion size for me. And then I bought the eight ounce one for my husband because he didn't have surgery and he can have a whole lot more. However, uh, it works great to leave it in here and set it in here, but if you want a little bit more liquid or you want it a little bit more um, runny consistency, then this doesn't give you any more room to put any more liquid in it. Um, eating it cold like this was amazing. It was like a dessert. Uh, but I've kind of, I switch back and forth. Sometimes I use the short one, sometimes I use the big one. I guess it depends if I think in the morning or the next day I'm going to want it warmed up or if I still want it cold. So this is my concoction. Let's see if I can show you. It is incredible. Just enough chocolate just enough of the oats, just enough of the um, nuts, and even a craisin. And now here's my spoon. And if you look, I don't know, I don't wanna drop that piece. If you look, this is the size of my thumbnail, a little bit bigger even. So that's kind of too big of a bite for us, really. But, mmm. It is so good. So what do you have in it, Lisa Marie? Let me tell you. How rude of me, sorry. Talk with food in my mouth. Hmm. I didn't think that. It's snack time. The mix of flavors, the little bit of the craisin with the crunch of the nut, with the mushiness of the oats, and just the hint of the sweet and the chocolate. Mm. I did heat this up because it's yummy that way, but you could totally um, have it cold because mine's cooling off already. That's how slow I eat. So I wanted to show you what I did. I only use a quarter of a cup, not sure where my quarter of a cup went, of the regular old fashioned oats, not the quick ones. You can use the quick oats, but it makes it, um, the consistency is a little different. It's not um, thick and oatmeal-y. It's kind of smaller, mushy. I don't know what you call it, but it's definitely a different consistency, and it works the same. I have not tried steel-cut oats, and I haven't tried it with malt oatmeal yet. Oh, I'm going to be adventurous, though, and try that later. So I use a quarter of a cup of the old fashioned oats with one, normally, normally when I make it, I use the unsweetened um, almond milk. But today, actually last night, so that's the whole thing. You put this in the refrigerator the night before and then it allows you to have it 
the next day. If you do quick oats, you can actually do it within 30 minutes. What? But the old fashioned oats really need to be in your fridge for about eight hours. Uh, that works the best. But last night, instead of using the almond milk, I used the chocolate um, premier protein. And I did a little more than a quarter of a cup because I wanted it to, I knew it was gonna soak up the liquid. Uh, so I put a little bit more, probably almost a half a cup of this in that. That's what I did. So old fashioned oats, this is your liquid. Normally it's one to one. If you use a quarter of a cup, you're gonna use a quarter of a cup of liquid. Milk, water, whatever you're gonna do. It's it's equal parts, one, one part oats, one part liquid. That's what I do. Then I added to it a tablespoon of this um, maple syrup, and it's because this is an actual, um, no artificial whole maple syrup. And it's lighter on the sugar, but it it's kind of, a, it's a healthier sugar, and that's why I use it. I don't use very much, uh, but a tablespoon of this. And then I've shown you before my fun Splenda brown sugar. I only used a teaspoon of this because I kind of wanted that maple brown sugar taste. And then I thought of the chocolate. Uh, so then that's when I added that. And I did a half a tablespoon of chia seeds. Might have been a little less, more like a teaspoon, because this, um, the scooper that comes from my Gene Pro is what I have in here. And that's one tablespoon. So I kind of eyeballed it and I did half. So it's half a tablespoon. It's what I counted it as anyway. And then I added my 10 grams of the craisins that are the blueberry flavor because I really like them. I've tried it with fresh blueberries as well and it works, but it um, they're big and then they pop and they're mushy and they take up a whole lot of space and the craisins worked just as well. And then I use 10 grams of the cashew pieces and I break them up even more. I break them up so that each little piece is like three. And then you just pop it in the fridge you leave it set in there for at least eight hours, and then it's up to you. Where did I put it? Then it's up to you. If you want to microwave it, you can microwave it right in the glass jar, take off the lid, or you can eat it cold. How easy is that? And there's so many, so many ways to do it. There's so many ways to do it. But this one, I have found it's getting me extra protein. Now you could add the Gene Pro to it too. I would add it to the liquid and then pour all of the liquid in. So if you really want that protein, but what I was going to share with you, calorie wise, and I don't, I can't look cause it's in my phone. Calorie wise, that oatmeal is 263 calories. So that's a full meal all on its own. And it's giving me the carbohydrates to keep going and go out throughout to the day. And then, um, I mean, just so you can kind of have a look, I probably should show you the other way so you can read it right, huh? You have to promise not to judge if I turn my camera around because my kitchen looks like Hurricane Irma came through it. And, Everything is on the counters and on the table and everything because it was all in here and now it's all over there. So, hmm, am I brave enough to show you? Hmm, yeah, let me show you. So here is the right way of being able to read what I have for today. I've already had the Gene Pro and my tea this morning along with my G2. I'm having the oats now then I'm having some amazing beef and cheese for lunch, taking some jerky and nuts in my purse because I have a meeting at three. And then tonight we're having that, um, some more of that pork from the crock pot with my lighthouse dressing in some salad that's kale, spinach, and Brussels sprouts with a little bit of romaine. And then for snack tonight, I'm gonna have some yogurt with granola. So as you can see, there is a very full rounded day 
And I apologize, I didn't put my totals here. Huh. Um, anyway, so for, yes, yeah, see, everything is out and all over the place. It's a horrible mess. I apologize. Sorry, but my butt gets sore sitting, typing, and fixing my resume, and sending it out to different places. And so my break from doing that is coming in here and doing this. And it's taken me a couple of days to, to get where I am. But I thought I would share with you because if you really want a simple grab and go type of thing that you can put in your lunch pail, you can take it with you and eat it cold, or you can take it with you and heat it up. These oatmeal jars are amazing. I haven't used a whole lot of fresh, um, excuse me, fruit in mine yet, but you can add bananas, you can do cinnamon, you can make it like a blueberry muffin, you can, there's just so many different recipes out there that it intrigued me to do this. That's why I did this. My husband actually likes um, chocolate, so I use those little itty bitty chocolate chips for his because it kind of mixes all up in there and then he likes sugar-free syrup as his sweetener. But you can use agave, you can use sugar-free syrup, you can use banana as a natural sweetener. I mean, there's so many ideas. But you don't have to eat it for breakfast. You can have it for snack, you can have it for lunch, you can have it for whatever you want. It can be as big of calories or as little of calories as you want to fit in your day. And if you need more protein, add protein powder. Add Gene Pro or one of the other protein powders that I just moved out of here and they're over there. Um, there's plenty of options to do that with. So I hope it's an idea for you. I hope you like it as much as me because it is really good. It is really, really good. Okay, here is probably a actual, real actual bite. And that will take, that will take probably 15 to 30 chews because it's it's a it's a lot of substance on there and you want to make sure you chew it thoroughly to get down into your tummy so there you have it there is an idea for you for one of your meals somewhere throughout your day I hope you like it as much as me because it just smells so good and it actually tastes good too so there you have it have a great day, and I've got a couple more ideas popping in my head, so I'll share those um, the next time I take a break. <laughs> okay, y'all have a good day. Bye.